Hi Kingdom Kids, it's me, Pastor Angela. Thank you for joining me online. Let's keep learning our lesson series called Christmas Treasures. And it's all about how we can celebrate Christmas. So first, we looked at the Christmas treasure, the nativity, and how we can celebrate Christmas by making room for Jesus in our homes. And then we looked at the Christmas lights and how we can celebrate Christmas by spreading the good news about Jesus. Today, let's look at the Christmas treasure that is the Christmas star. I love Christmas stars. And there's so many different ones. <laughs> Our Bible story today is about the wise men and the star of Bethlehem. Our Bible story comes from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. The first book in the New Testament is Matthew. So Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 12. You can pause this video and read from your Bible or your Bible app or you can keep on watching. We are reading from the Beginner's Bible, The Bright Star and Three Visitors, from Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus was born, God put a special star in the sky. Some wise men who lived far away saw this star, they knew it was a sign from God that a new king had been born. The wise men followed the star. On their way, they stopped in the city of Jerusalem to see King Herod. The wise men wanted to ask him about the baby king. Now, Herod was a mean king. He tried to trick the wise men. You must find him for me so I can worship him too, he said. The star led the wise men to Bethlehem. There they found little Jesus. They worshipped him and gave him gifts fit for a king, gold and sweet-smelling spices, frankincense and myrrh. An angel appeared to the wise men in a dream. He warned them, Do not go back to King Herod. Can you imagine finding your way by following the stars? Well, that is what people did way back then, before there were modern maps and before we had the GPS. They followed the stars. And the wise men, they studied the stars. But... That made them smart, but what made them wise was that they realized when, that when they saw the Bethlehem star, that it wasn't just any old star. They knew that the Bethlehem star would lead them to Jesus. So they followed it. <laughs> they saw the Bethlehem star and they just followed it. They packed their things and they brought their gifts and they followed it all the way to Jesus. Now there are many kinds of Christmas stars. There are star ornaments, star shaped Christmas lights. Um, there are tree toppers that are shaped like a star. In Mexico, they have a Christmas star pinata, but my favorite Christmas star is called a parol. And it's from the Philippines where I grew up, and there are even um, festivals and parades with different sizes of paroles or Christmas lanterns shaped like a star. And they all light up and they're so colorful and they're very beautiful. Christmas stars remind us of the star of Bethlehem and how it led the wise men to Jesus. The Christmas star teaches us how to celebrate Christmas, and that is by lighting the way for other people to come to Jesus. Because not everyone knows about Jesus, and not everyone knows that Jesus can save them from a forever kind of darkness, since Jesus is the Messiah or the Savior, like our Bible memory verse says. Do you remember what it says? 
It says, Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Luke 2, 11. Hey, let me take out some of those words and leave you some clues, and then you can try to say it all by yourself. Ready? Go. Very good. Jesus is the Messiah or the Savior and He saves us from a forever kind of darkness, a forever kind of death. But not everybody knows that. So how can we be like the Christmas star and light somebody's way to Jesus? What can you do to light a friend's way to Jesus? There's so many things, right? You can Tell them the story of how Jesus was born. Tell them how Jesus can save them from a forever kind of darkness. Tell them why Jesus is so important to you. Uh, give them a book that tells them about Jesus, like a Bible or a children's Bible or a Christmas book about Jesus. Or you can invite them to church or to Bible study with you. You can also love them like the way Jesus loves them by helping them when they need help, by being their friend, by encouraging them. There's so many ways you can light up somebody's way to Jesus. There's so many ways you can be a Christmas star. Hey, will you connect with us online on Facebook and on Instagram? We are at HICC Kingdom Kids or use the hashtag HICC Kingdom Kids. And if you're watching on our YouTube channel, thank you so much. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Let's pray together. God, thank you for sending Jesus to be born on earth, to be our Messiah, to be our Savior. Please help us be like the Christmas star, be like the star of Bethlehem. Help us light up the way for somebody else to follow Jesus, to find Jesus and follow Jesus and um, accept Jesus into their lives to be their Savior, their Messiah. And Lord God, we pray that this Christmas you light up the lives of so many people around the world. Heal those who are sick and comfort those who are grieving and pour out your love around every single person. We love you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I challenge you to be somebody's Christmas star this week. Do something to help your friend or your neighbor or whoever find their way to Jesus. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you online. Merry Christmas and God bless.